fighting each other. The raw stats, there he is, Garcia, 30 off. Hey, this is a partisan Mikey Garcia crowd. As you see both fighters, you see Mikey very much warmed up. Has already some sweat on his back and on his arms. Sergey Lipinets, 10 of his 13 victories have come by knockout, a 77% knockout percentage. Originally from Kazakhstan, who moved to Russia, known as the Samurai. For Mikey Garcia, he is aiming to win another world title in a fourth division and chance here of Mikey here in San Antonio. What a lively crowd here in the Alamo City. Neither fighter has thrown anything significant because they are both in the feeling out process. Couple of jabs for Garcia. Sergey Lipinets extremely crafty and there is that jab that coming out by Mikey Garcia. There's that jab by Sergey Lipinets. Still very cautious approach for both. A straight right hand that misses for Garcia. Now the World Boxing Council, because Garcia holds the lightweight championship, said they were not going to strip Garcia, but they do want some unification matchups following this jump up and wait for Garcia. Another jab by Mikey Garcia, straight right hand down the middle. And that connects. And another jab followed by a straight right hand for Garcia. At least in the early going, he seems to be the faster of the two. Ray Flores ringside here in San Antonio. And a straight right hand on the abdomen of Garcia by Lipinets. Final moments of round one between Mikey Garcia and Sergey Lipinets. And for Mikey Garcia, starting off round, Lawrence Cole referee in charge. What a crowd here at the Freeman Coliseum here in San Antonio. The crowd has come out to support Mikey Garcia. They have certainly taken him in as one of their own, at least during the time that he's been down here for fight week. The Pignettes, knows he has to get more active, has a very good jab. Seen him fight Haskell Rhodes and wipe out Lenny Zapovinia, along with Levant Gavami Chaba. As they moved Lipinets up through the ranks rather quickly because they believed in the 28-year-old so much and a big straight right hand that found its mark for Garcia a jab by a straight right hand that connected by Garcia now Garcia sending that jab and a jab followed by a straight right hand that connected Another one followed by a left hook to the body. Mikey Garcia keeping a very good defensive stance, but is being active here in the second. Midway point of round two. And Lippin Yetz still hasn't thrown anything substantial. There is a sharp left hand followed by a right hand that was blocked by Garcia. Was able to get through the guard. Yeah. 
Jones after the abdomen by Lipinets. Straight right hand on the left side of the head by Mikey Garcia. Garcia with doubling up on that jab, followed by a straight right hand, and that backs up Lipinets and the fans. Are, oh, a big right hand by Mikey Garcia. He looks so sharp and crisp tonight. A left hook that backs up Lipinets. Oh my goodness. Demonstrating that power that he has. Mikey Garcia, one of the best pop and pop fighters in the world. A straight right hand that connected off the side of the skull of Lipinets. Under 20 seconds remaining here in round two. As Lipinets following Mikey Garcia, but he is eating quite a bit of right hands. Lipinets came forward and he got tattooed with a right hand. And that's both connect here in this sequence as we take a look. The left hook followed by the jab. And a little bit of blood is scheduled for 12. Mikey Garcia, the technician, looking very good here through the first two rounds. I am ahead. Gave him both rounds, the 10-9 on my scorecard, my unofficial scorecard. Now Lipinets looking to be more aggressive on Garcia, but when you start to be more aggressive, that'll expose you. And a jab followed by a straight right hand on the abdomen of Garcia. Garcia looking to spin him around, connected with a straight right hand, a nice left hook. That thumb, it's marked for Lipinets, but back comes Garcia with two right hands, followed by a left hook to the body. Garcia surgical-like in his approach. And there is some blood that is streaming from the nose of Mikey Garcia. I saw it when it came to the jab that landed for Lipinets, but there seems to be some blood that is streaming from the left side of the nose of Mikey Garcia. And I wonder from a breathing standpoint, if that will give him big time issues. And that jab that Sergey Lipinets throws at you, it's like a stabbing jab. He sticks it so well, it has such accuracy and power and snap behind it that it almost like knifes you. And Lawrence Cole warning about shots below the belt. We are just over the midway point of the third round. Sergey Lipinets giving a very good account of himself here in this third round, simply with the jab and the blood that Mikey is dealing with in his nose. So Mikey having to deal with some adversity here in this championship affair. Lipinets fainting. And sends again, connects with the jab. High drama here in San Antonio. A left hook to the body by Mikey Garcia. It didn't have much effect on Lipinets. Straight right hand, that did. And a big right hand that connected by Mikey Garcia. He followed it up with another one. But back comes Lipinets with a jab, followed by a straight right hand, and he threw a left hook. But the left hook was out of the range of Mikey Garcia. And Lipinets looking to sneak in a straight right hand to the body of Garcia. Lipinets. Following around Mikey Garcia, but back comes Garcia. And here is a shot from Sergey Lipinets as comes over the top. Bang, there's that left hook. And that's what started the speed to turd. It was, he started off with the jab and then right behind it, boom. Sergey Lipinets, the champion. Mikey Garcia looking to dethrone Lipinets. And Lipinets goes on the offensive early here in the fourth. Lipinets looking to use some feints to try to get on the inside and start landing that jab as he did in the third round. The left hook that was partially blocked. And they seem to have gotten the blood under control from the nose, streaming of Mikey Garcia. 
Struck right hand and Lawrence good warning Lipinets about a shot below the belt. But now Lipinets, he's been more the aggressor. Mikey hasn't done too much. Mikey with his back on the ropes for about two seconds there. Bounce right back off and coming and looking to throw the jab followed and placing it right behind it is the straight right hand. But Lipinets, he's following around Mikey Garcia. Snuck in that jab to the midsection of Garcia. Seconds left in the fourth. Couple of jabs through the body, followed by a strafing right hand. And Mikey looking at time lifting yet's coming inside, and the blood starting to stream again from the left nostril of Mikey Garcia. And lifting yet's applying the pressure here in the fourth. A left hook that connected, followed by a straight right hand. It was a jab. A one-two, another one-two by Mikey Garcia. Three straight jabs followed by straight right hands down the middle in succession, finding their mic for Garcia. Another one. Mikey Garcia continues to pester Sergey Lipinets with the fundamentals, the jam, followed by that straight right hand. He has been landing at will here in that fourth round with it. The left hook that found its mark for Mikey Garcia is willing to stay in the pocket against Sergey Lipinets. between the two as you see Mike don't leave don't come up don't be totally upright is what Buddy McGurk was informing Sergey Lipinets so I think Lipinets has won the third and the fourth I could see where the judges have given one of the rounds I gave the first two to Mikey and I've given the third and the fourth to Sergey Lipinets that could be off base but I think that Lipinets over the course of the third and the fourth round dictated more of the action but do you score the fact that Sergey was the higher volume puncher, or do you score the more conclusive and the bigger shots like Mikey Garcia in that fourth round? So, straight right hand for Sergey Lipinets, followed by a jab. Lipinets demonstrating that he can be just as quick as Mikey Garcia. And I wonder why Mikey Garcia on the left hook that connected. He stepped inside, backed it up. Sergey Lipinets. <laughs> Mikey Garcia knows he's in there with such a difficult opponent, the champion Sergey Lipinets. He hasn't been throwing the jab too much here in this fifth round. I wonder if he's waiting for an opening or if he's looking to lure Lipinets into a trap. Lipinets continues to look and he gets caught with a left hook. Partially grazing shot by Mikey Garcia. And Lipinets when Mikey, they made the adjustment, but you heard Buddy McGirt say, look, dip your head and move, change your levels. So when Mikey has been trying to throw the jab and follow that right hand behind the jab, Sergey has been dipping and has been making the adjustments. And little moves like that where he dips his head, he slides one way to the other, and now he has Mikey against the ropes. And this is a bad position for Mikey Garcia as Sergey Lipinets looking to uncork some shots, but Mikey jabs his way back to the center of the ring and that is such a veteran move 
with your back against the ropes. Mikey, instead of escaping via the back door, jabbed his way back to the center of the ring. Garcia towards the end of the fifth. But back comes Sergey Lipinyet. As Sergey Lipinyet, here's that left hook. Bang! Brother Mikey Garcia. To really let that right hand go, don't hesitate with it. Use double up on the jab and then unload with that straight right hand, but get everything you have into it. Sergey Lipinets though looks very good and without the shadow of a doubt a capable world champion big straight right hand followed by a right hand on the abdomen of Mikey Garcia and Mikey Garcia he certainly is letting that right hand go he's listening to his brother doubling up and now, Sergey Lipinets has Mikey Garcia pinned against the ropes. And if you're Mikey, you need to get out of this position. Because in the fifth round, he had Mikey Garcia against the ropes for a 15 to 20 second period. A left hook followed by a right. And Sergey Lipinets is demonstrating some crafty offense here in this sixth round. Ray Forrest joining your ringside here in San Antonio. Sergey Lipinets, the defending champion. He was the underdog on most sports books around the world. A heavy underdog at that. 91 is what I last saw. Mikey Garcia, the heavy favorite. Lawrence Cole wants the fighters to keep their punches up. And if you're Mikey Garcia, you'd like to see if you're in that corner. More jabs coming from Mikey. As Mikey's holding up a little bit, he's hesitating when it comes to throwing the jab that has been demonstrated in the fifth and the sixth. But Sergey Lipinets has not been hesitant to throw the jab. Stepping inside immediately with a straight right hand was Garcia. And Garcia was aiming to time Lipinets with that left hook, but it barely missed him. Straight right hand that missed for. Garcia. High level chess inside the squared circle between Mikey Garcia and Sergey Lipinets. Both fighters very technical, both fighters with a lot of power. A left hook that found its mark for Lipinets, followed by a right hand to the body. And the body work of Sergey Lipinets starting to really. Wear down a little bit, Mikey Garcia. Mikey's coming in, but he started off the first and second round with more fluidity, and now he is hesitating to a degree. I hope that they both exchange hooks. And that end was starting off the first and second round. He looked so sharp and crisp and was starting off throwing the jab with a lot of frequency and really unloading it. And then he brought that straight right hand behind it, was landing it almost at will. But Sergey Lipinets made the adjustment. Buddy McGurk told him, I want you to dip your head, use some head movement. A right cross, but a couple of straight right hands for Garcia. That has been a signature punch for the past few fights. Has that straight right hand from Mikey Garcia. It's the straight right hand that decapitated Dejan's the teaching him in January of last year at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. The fight in which Garcia captured the WBC likely championship of the world, a title in which he still holds. I really appreciate you joining us around the world where everyone are watching. The left hook, they both exchange hooks at close distance. Right cross by the Pinets. That drops the Pinets by Garcia. And blood on the nose from Sergey Lepinets. Mikey Garcia has dropped the champion. Will he go and try to get the finish? Oh my goodness.
madness. The left hook and the fans are on their feet here in the Jack Pat Freeman Coliseum. Chants of Mikey are echoing here at San Antonio. Lepinets was getting into a rhythm and a big right hand backs up Lepinets. The 30 year old, the three division world champion, aiming to make some history for himself and join a pantheon of greats and become a four division world champion. Lepinets, you could tell the effects of the fighter taking a toll on his face. Blood across the bridge of the nose. 30 seconds left. This has been a big seventh round for Mikey Garcia. A big straight right hand that backed up the Pignettes. The Pignettes. His left thigh, some swelling on the face of Lipinets. A laceration outside his left thigh. And that has the seventh. What a big round. And here is Sergei Lipinets. That was a big right hand. But now look at Mikey Garcia. Garcia was able to make an adjustment. And there was Lipinets with a big overhand right. And here is the knockdown, bang, right there on the button. It was pinpoint accuracy. It was a right hand that missed, but look at Mikey Garcia, find the opening. Lipinets came in with the jab, and then boom, right there on Ralph. And the action continues to intensify here at a champ back Freeman Coliseum. Mikey Garcia, 37-0. The 30-year-old who would join Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez as being the only fighters to claim world titles at featherweight, super featherweight, lightweight, and super lightweight. A big right hand that found its destination for Mikey Garcia. How much, how hurt was Sergey Lipinets? Wherever you're joining us around the world, thank you so much. Whether it's a Saturday night or a Sunday afternoon, we appreciate you joining us for this World Championship matchup. And for Sergey Lipinets, you knew you were going to be in there with a dangerous fighter, a technical fighter, someone who has a lot of power. But Lipinets wanted a big name. He wanted a big fight. Well, he has it here with Mikey Garcia. And Lipinets with the right hand. That got through, followed by a left hook. Lipinets starting to get more aggressive as we approach the halfway mark of round eight. Jab getting through for Mikey Garcia. And Lepinets still comes forward. But with Mikey Garcia, who is one of the best pop for pop fighters in the world, he's so economical in his punches. Very rarely does Garcia waste any unnecessary energy. Whereas Lepinets, you see that just from the sound of his punches when he throws them, everything he throws has bad intentions. There isn't such a thing as a throwaway punch. Everything has a knockout written all over it. Whereas Mikey will just use, you have to vary your levels when it comes to your punching. Something has to, a jab could something be just to be pestering you, to bother you, to set up that big right hand that Mikey has been landing here tonight. Under 30 seconds left here in the eighth. Mikey Garcia, 30 years of age, since being away from the ring for 30 months, has come back and has looked tremendous. Big right hand to end the round for Mikey Garcia, followed by a left hook, and that ends 
in Mike and Andrew Rodriguez. That could be extremely problematic for Lipinets, but they've gotten that under control because that immediately, the blood drips into your eye. And with Carrillo Relic winning the world championship here tonight at 140 for the WBA, this is for the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship. Could we see unification in the winner of this matchup with Relic? Or will Garcia, if he's victorious, will he go back to 135 and try to unify the lightweight division? Lipinets still coming forward, but I wonder if he's hesitant to throw because he knows he's being countered by such an accurate puncher in Mikey Garcia. Those left hook those partially blocked. Mikey Garcia's defense is terrific as well. Not only is he always in a position of punch, but he always he makes the adjustment when it comes to a defense. He'll either bring his gloves up, parry away a shot, block it with his gloves, absorb it with his biceps. 80 seconds remaining. A big left hook that connected by Lipinets. Mikey Garcia momentarily wobbled, but he comes back with a double left hook. Mikey was waking up right there with that left hook from Sergey Lipinets. 60 seconds left here in the ninth. Lipinets using feints to try to get on the inside. And the right hand on the left side of the body, a left hook that connected by Lipinets. They both exchange hooks. Garcia was looking to connect with an uppercut. But back comes Lipinets. Lipinets with the left hook. How determined this young 28 year old, originally from Kazakhstan, is in Sergey Lipinets. He has really, and he continues to give his all and is pushing Mikey Garcia tonight. Final moments of round nine. Straight right hand followed by some body work from the champ. And here is Sergey found his rhythm in the later part of the round with the right hand followed by the left hook upstairs. He doesn't look clean either. His left eye has got a little bit of a cut. And he winked over at Lipinet says to say a sign of respect between the two combatants. This is high level prize fighting between two outstanding fighters. As we go ahead and take a look and I look at the scorecards, I gave the first two rounds to Mikey Garcia, then I gave three, four, five, and six, all two, one, Sergey Lipinets. What a hook there by Lipinets. A 10-8 round in the seventh round, but I gave the eighth round to Mikey Garcia, and I gave the ninth to Sergey Lipinets. So this is a very close fight, at least on my unofficial scorecard, and I use that loosely, unofficial. But it is a very close fight. Many observers at ringside think the same thing. Garcia looked like he was starting out strong and he was on his way to pulling over Lipinets. But Lipinets started to take over and Garcia was able to seize it. It's been back and forth, ebb and flow action here between these two world class fighters. Mikey's got to be busier too. Big right hand. That was all started off from the jab. And Lipinets jumps in with the jab. The right hand partially backing up Sergey Lipinets. And a big right hand to the body by Sergey Lipinets. He really got a lot behind that. 70 seconds remaining here in the 10th. And now the fans here in San Antonio, this 
terrific crowd. Shani lets go Mikey under a minute left. But Mikey isn't throwing the jab. His rhythm again has been disrupted by Sergey Lipinets. Look to step inside. There's the double jab, but he isn't placing the right hand behind it. There we see the right hand come from Mikey Garcia. Oh, big left hook that landed, and Lipinets seems to be hurt. He backed him up to Mikey Garcia. It was that left hook that sent Lipinets to the canvas in the seventh. Mikey looking to load up with that left hook, but back comes Sergey. Look at Lipinets step inside. He is so apropos and fitting his nickname of a samurai because he comes forward with this reckless abandon and he's having his will tested by Mikey Garcia. Ten rounds in the box. Garcia with that left hook, boom, right there. And Sergey took that well, better than what he did in this matchup. This has been here in San Antonio. Well, Mikey starts to go back to doubling up on the jab and being active with the jab in the early part of the round. What will Sergey Lipinets? Will he continue to apply pressure and aim to rip into the body of Mikey Garcia? A straight right hand that connected for Garcia. A big year plan for Premier Boxing Champions. Make sure to follow us on social media at Premier Boxing. Left up for Sergey Lipinets, the champion. And again, an emphasis on the body of Mikey Garcia. Left hook for Mikey Garcia. But Mikey isn't as active. I know he's waiting for Lipinets to try to be aggressive, but Lipinets' tempo seems to be throwing off Garcia here in the ninth and the tenth. And the 11th as well. But Mikey's so economical. Doesn't waste any motion whatsoever. And throw punches without them having significant meaning. Eighty seconds left here in the 11th. A straight right hand. Partially connected for Lipinets. Some body work now for Lipinets. Those were partially blocked and absorbed by the gloves of Garcia. Straight right hand for Mikey Garcia. This round is still up in the air. Lipinets. The straight right hand, but delivering right back was Garcia. This is going to be a very close fight. I have the sense on the judges' scorecards. The jab followed by that straight right hand down the middle for Mikey Garcia. If Mikey is active, whichever fighter is more active, that could steal this round. A sense of urgency now from both fighters with 15 seconds to go in the 11th. A left hook to the body by Garcia, followed by a jab. A right hand that ends it. You can be champion as Mikey Garcia comes out. And this is the 12th and final round of a very close fight between the champion Sergey Lipinets and Mikey Garcia, the challenger. Garcia looking to become a four division world champion. Lipin Yetz wanting to have a successful first title defense of his, of his IBF junior welterweight crown. Buddy McGurk warning Sergey Lipin Yetz that Mikey Garcia could very well come out very aggressive, but use your jab that will keep him at bay. And Lipin Yetz jabbing multiple directions to the body and to the head of Garcia. Sharp right hand that connected for Mikey Garcia, followed by another one. 
Two combinations back to back by the 30 year old. As Epinets was throwing with bad intentions, but look at Garcia stepping in. Boom! It sent Lipinets crashing to the kick. Four totals. Judge of Ringside, Mark Calloway scores about 116 to 111. Judges Nelson Vasquez and Julie Letterman see the bout 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. He is now a four-division world champion and the new IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Mikey 